Welcome to All My Art and Soul, and this is going to be a 30-day art journaling practice, which is not a challenge, but an invitation to find a new positive path to ourselves, to our creativity. If you open yourself up so that art and soul journaling can be a source of renewed inspiration, stillness, clarity, peace, and even wisdom. Over the next 30 days, I will be uploading a daily affirmation video. So come and join me for 30 days of art and soul journaling. Welcome back to All My Art and Soul and Affirmation Art Journaling number 15. Today's affirmation is... Everything I need comes into my life at the right time. And uh, I really, really believe this. Uh, We can't rush things. We don't sit around waiting for things to happen either. But it's just, uh, you know, serendipity is what I call it. So today's color palette is neutral. I really wanted to start uh, trying different, of course, different types of neutrals. Um, The main color being uh, the dark is raw umber. The neutral is the uh, unbleached titanium, Naples yellow hue, uh, that transparent white that uh, is really cool. And you'll see I'm just getting more accustomed as to what it can do. I did put my turquoise blue down, uh, but I didn't want to use blue. Just, who knows, for some reason, I just wanted the neutrals. I put it down there just in case, just to speed things up. And so I chose a bunch of neutral journaling pieces. Um, I've been cleaning my studio today, actually the second phase of cleaning. Everybody saw the sparkly, uh, if you didn't, on Instagram. Um, I love making those little videos and it's feeling a lot better going through you have to go through all your collage fodder I bought a just a plastic uh, drawer con- three drawer container it's just that you can store uh, things in an order in a category and the, it, they don't get dusty they stay pretty much dust free and you can clean in and around So we'll see how long it stays clean. So everything I need comes into my life at the right time. I forgot that, yes, I really want to write it. And then I want to turn the page and write it in the other direction, though very quickly, um, just to get that energy down on the substrate. On the bottom, and this is a thing that I'm going to change as well, I usually like to start darker and move up to lighter. I just like that feeling. Um, If I was using, if I was starting a neutral painting, just this, these, um, the first stage alone would be several layers, starting with the darkest umber and maybe Payne's gray to cool it, cool it down a little bit, or maybe black and then several layers on top with texture. So an art journaling page, as you can, as you know, is, you know, 20 minutes to 30 minutes. That's what I take. And then I thought, okay, well, I can at least slap down a really nice layer, an opaque layer. And I wanted things floating around, meaning I wanted an all over composition. I did not want threes, fives, sevens in any sort of color field. I thought of, as it starts here, but then I move away from it. And that is the main intention for this, uh, besides having a a neutral page. So that's just your great big canvas uh, needles that you buy the pack of. And I like buying them because um, they're great just for marking and making thin lines and gouging through the paint. 
They work much better, though, on the cradle board or the birch panel. And as I was cleaning, I found some of my old um, McCall's. Uh, these are mine, and it's hard to find them. I, I had so many. I used to be quite a sewer. And uh, that's a whole other story. I used to make hats, sell them on the street, Queen Street, Toronto. I used to make all sorts of things. But I'll share that another time. And uh, so I uh, would love and have seen other artists use old patterns just because of the lines and the arrows and the different things. So stay to the end and you'll see I find this arched piece. Uh, I believe it's a sleeve piece. And uh, this transparent paint, this transparent mixing white is what it's called, is the coolest. I thought uh, the titanium white was translucent enough, but this is even better. And I don't know if you can see it through this particular lens. That's why I re-emphasize the lines on the top with the charter marker, but it looks so much better in graphite and pencil. And then I've got those twisty crayons. Uh, you can go to the kids' art section and there's some really cool things. And uh, there they are. And they they're, they're super smooth, I think because they're really super hard so they don't break when you, the kids twist them out. <laughs> they probably over twist them and they all snap. <laughs> they're probably broken in no time, but as an adult, we know how to use these things. So there's my little, um, my organic dots, stencil girl stencil, if anyone's wondering. Uh, go to the organic shapes, circles, there's different ways to find different categories and then of course all the artists oh, it's endless you need a whole day or at least a couple of hours to go through them so then i'm really I, I put it down below but i did not like the contrast and then it's really transparent where i put it this piece of collage i made the other day when i was using the neutral from the from the page and I put it on the deli wrap paper um, from the jelly plate printer. And it's really cool because it's it's not as transparent, of course, as tracing, as uh, tissue paper, but see, so up there, the contrast is too much from being against the, the light. So it needed to be halfway. And there's a little gray and a little of the ti uh, unbleached titanium on there. So I'm trying to, and I didn't find it that difficult this time. Um, let me know, um, what do you do when you're trying to get out of your default mode and trying things that are new? So I'm trying to just guide the viewer's eye around this substrate. I didn't want to use black and white. I wanted to keep things very light in the value up top. So it's it's sort of swooshy, sort of soft edged, um, atmospheric is what I what I would say. And when I'm tearing the pieces of collage, I'm trying to make sure that they're different. There's a difference going on in different elements, shape. Um, oh, and this piece, I don't even know where this came from. It's iridescent and it's a beautiful coffee or a raw umber, oh, it's just beautiful. And then I just lightened up the color a bit. Well, I thought of that writing, that's my mother's writing. And uh, I've got some things from her writing, old recipes, um, just, just some notes and then I decided okay now now probably would have been a little better if I put some of that unbleached titanium in those dots and but I think since those two the value is very similar I don't think it made a lot of difference so now I'm thinking okay you see how it's very transparent translucent now I'm going opaque what's the opposite of what I just did that's a great question to, a great prompt to use. Um, 
and I've, you know, these aren't, a, these aren't from me, believe me. I'm just learning to use them. They're from all of my favorite mentor artists from, oh, name them again, Nicholas Wilton, Adele Sipenston, Louise Fletcher, uh, Judy Woods, and Pamela Coey. They are my absolute favorites. Uh, go check them out. And if I do say anything or whatever, I will give them the, you know, the, the, the it's because that's where I got that information from. It's, it's not from me. So I'm really liking uh, the line. There's a lot of line. It's not a quiet line. It's very energetic and swirly. And I'm deciding because of yesterday's page, I liked how the text um, matched its value of that really lovely light uh, titan buff or unbleached titanium. There's those two different colors. One's a little deeper. If you uh, have both, you'll see the difference. And there's that piece of uh, sewing pattern. So I decide, I, I know, and it's it's such a neat thing, but yet it's not helping where I decide first put it. Nope, no good. So I end up putting it in the upper left-hand corner, and I know this needed a curve, but the direction of the curve was very, had to be just right. So there it is. Now, yes, it's making the eye go up and off the top, but I put something down. And of course, I really love to use a very, uh, that white or off-white um, half circle that stops right there. And then it almost is a orbital track or something. So then I'm using this brush. Now, the, those lines are very similar to the organic dots, but not quite the same. So maybe, you know, in the future, I might consider that. And then, of course, my little piece of pipe going across just didn't feel right. So I wanted to go vertical. And I like to use odds, five or seven. Nature is an odd, so that's probably a good go-to, but you never know. Sometimes it, it doesn't work out that way. There it is. There's that half, so it stops. And then, if you find uh, the line is too, there's too too much, so the eye is staying there, you can just cover it with a little bit of white or whatever the background is. And, of course, roll it with a brayer or lift it with a piece of paper. And then, of course, I wanted to do, um, which is very opaque compared to the paper it's beautiful papers that I have. I have to, they're just scrap leftovers that you buy in a package. Every color, there's, they're, oh, it's amazing. So some of the art stores have them. There's an old leaf that it's been flattened in a book. It's been there for, oh, geez, years now. But uh, I will use it when it's the right time, the right page, the right affirmation, the right feeling. <coughs> So this is the same value, but it's opaque. And I really like playing with that. And I love all the lines that you can still see. And I'm still making some more lines go down. Uh, it has a lot of energy and it's calm at the same time, which is uh, fairly interesting. Notice I did five there. bringing up the rusty color because it just needed a little bit of a some color in there and that's why this works. I know there's a lot of raw umber going on in this. A pale blue may have worked but uh, I just didn't feel the need today. But I will definitely consider that in the future. And just using that beautiful transparent Lighting, yes, 
So now you can see that piece, of that rectang rectangular shape better. And then I'm going to swoosh a little white over the top. Whoops, that brush has been bouncing around this whole video. Totally funny, just one of those days. And um, I decide, or I think I'm done, but I'm not done. The last couple of videos, it's been funny that way. I see this uh, number seven um, on the side uh, because your pattern pieces are numbered. And of course, you know, a lot of people, but a lot of people don't know how to use those. It's quite something. I could have made it smaller, and I might even go over it with a little bit more raw umber around the edges, just to lessen the contrast. And then, in the end, I decide to put a little strip of text in there. There's the white china marker. Just bringing that eye down. All right. So I think I'm done, but I'm not. <laughs> no blue, no blue. And drawing some of up the surface here. I love those dots, but they just, I, we had enough with the vertical raw umber ones, as you can see. And just warming up that tape. And this time the tape doesn't give me a hard time. So it, I think I just warmed it up enough so that there wasn't any tearing, except where the pattern piece is, which I forgot to cut with my X-Acto knife along its edge, the tape on the left. <laughs> Much nicer. Clean edges look great. Oh, there we go. Oh, then I realize, oh yeah, that's right. I need my X-Acto knife, which is dull. I need to get some new blades. There we go. Okay, that little bit of yellow in that rust is just enough color. But I saw that that beigey piece of pattern didn't go all the way to the top. And I just wanted to guess. Nice. Okay. And that was everything I need comes into my life at the right time. I hope it does for you as well. And, oh, hang on. Much better. Those lines did make a difference. I wasn't sure. And if you are liking this content, uh, please stick around. There's 15 more to go. We are at the halfway mark. I'm playing with that little dot and it's driving me crazy, so I end up covering it. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Hop on over to my Facebook page and new, new members are there. And I will see you tomorrow in the next video.